Hey everybody, it's Ron, and today I'm going to be reviewing Dune House Atreides issue 12 from Boom Studios. This is the final issue of this adaptation of the first Dune prequel book. And if you've been watching my reviews since the beginning, you'll know that overall I've been enjoying this book. And although I thought the writing and pacing for this last issue were both very solid, I was a little disappointed that the art wasn't as strong. I know that this issue also had a fill-in artist for most of the pages, and I find that kind of odd because you'd think the main artist would like to finish off strong, but I'm not sure what was going on behind the scenes. Maybe he picked up another project and couldn't use all of his time on this issue. Unfortunately, that did kind of ruin the flow of the story and the immersion a little bit. But let's get into this last issue. It starts off basically as a courtroom drama with Duke Leto. Like I've said in previous videos about this comic, some of the designs are a little too over the top for me and aside from some of the Atreides ships, I also thought that these judge characters armor, they were just a little too much with the headgear and overall the backgrounds and the colors looked a little too bright to me for a Dune project. I like this panel here though, it reminded me of a good Cartoon Network show, something like Samurai Jack. I just like the colors and shadows, and I do love the Tlay Laksu entrance. They're so dramatic, bringing in a torture device for Leto if he loses the case, and it just shows how vile and vindictive they are. I also still really love their design. It makes them stand out from everyone else in a creepy way. So in an unexpected turn, and if you haven't read the book that this is based on, Shaddam comes in and helps prove Leto's innocence, and he ends up getting sent free, but Leto is smart enough to know that this is all for politics, and eventually finds out about Shaddam's true feelings when he asks for the protection of Prince Romber and Kylea. The coronation of Shaddam is really epic looking. It shows you how big Kaitane is, and it really helps elevate this comic, even though it started out a little weak in the art department. We get to see Shaddam and Ani Rule get married at the same time. And we also get one last Harkonnen section, basically showing their dismay about what happened with Duke Leto. And there's a great panel of Piter. He looks creepier and creepier each issue, and it's perfect for that character. Fenring finally moves to Arrakis to observe the spice mining. And even though it seems like this is an honor, Fenring knows that it was done to get him out of Shaddam's hair, so he's a little conflicted. And then finally at the end, there's a really nice depiction of Dominic Vernius getting his soldiers ready to go into hiding and plan their revenge on House Carino, so it's a cool little teaser for what's to come. This book ends on Caladan, which I think is fitting to end on a peaceful planet, kind of symbolizing the calm before the storm. So yeah, aside from nitpicks here and there, I thought the creative team did a wonderful job with this series. And you can tell everyone really cares about the Dune universe. So I hope the sales were good enough to warrant a sequel, which is House Harkonnen, the second book in this prequel trilogy. So hopefully they announce that soon because I'd love to review comic book adaptations of this entire trilogy. So thanks for sticking with me through this whole series. It was a lot of fun for me and I hope you had fun as well. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content and thanks again for watching. Hey everyone, it's Ron here with a quick announcement. When I started this channel, I was reading and reviewing the Dune books and other sci-fi related material. And most of you might not know that I'm also a musician. So when I was reading these sci-fi books, I started to get inspired and decided to make my own soundtrack to use for my videos, and now I'm excited to tell you all about the first volume in the Ron Reviews original soundtrack collection. This album includes the first 17 tracks featured on my channel, and it's available now exclusively on Bandcamp. Be sure to check the description of this video for the link to the album. Thanks so much for the support so far. I know I'm just starting out, but I hope you're having as much fun as I am. So check out the original soundtrack volume one on Bandcamp. This music is great if you want something moody and atmospheric to listen to while you're reading some science fiction. I think you're going to love it. Thanks.